Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This morning is not going to be the usual preaching or teaching. This morning is going to be a prophetic style of promotion and deliverance to your life. So I want you to be ready to receive because God will do something in a few minutes from now that those of you that are here present and those of you that are watching our broadcast shall receive a total touch. Not have touch. Somebody say total touch from the almighty God. Say a better amen. Let your amen sound like a thunder here. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Blessed be the name of the Lord. This morning, I want to discuss on a topic, a topic I titled, Overtaking Every Mark of Pot in My Life. Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. I can hear you say neighbor overtaking every mark of but B U T of but that B U T should be in capital letter overtaking every mark of but in my life. Amen and amen. Before I talk to you, let me prophesy to you. Every mark of what you've been carrying for years. I'm hearing it very loud and clear this morning that God is removing that mark of what in your life. I said God is removing that mark of what in your life. Let your amen sound like a thunder. Let us go to the scripture in 2 Kings chapter 5. Hmm. Amen. To God be the glory, great things He has done. So love He the one that He gave us His Son, who you that is life and atonement for sin, and open the light gate that we may go. You're going to start from verse 1 to 14, but just give me verse 1 first. 2 Kings chapter 5, just give me verse 1. 2 Kings chapter 5. Yes, sir. Now, Naaman, captain of the host of the king of Syria. Now, there is a man called Naaman, and he is the captain of what? Of oh, the king. The host. The host of, of the, the king, king of, of the Syria. Syria. Go ahead was a great man with his master now listen to this follow that scripture very well the bible says that this man was what a great man. I, I want to hear you say that man was who a great man Naaman is a great man when the bible refers you as a great man that means you're not a baby in every areas of life you have been blessed either financially Physically, spiritually, and all the rest of them. Yes. yes, yes, yes. An honorable. Can you hear that? You say Naaman is a great man. The same Naaman is what? Honorable. Then he was great. Naaman was honorable. Naaman was what? Because Naaman is dead. Amen. So we are using his story to teach we that are presently alive. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, church. So, when the Bible refers to as honorable, now, let's take an instance of who, the people we refer as honorable here. Let's talk about our politicians. When you go to Federal House of Assembly, you are what? A honorable what? Member. Is that correct? When you are being appointed by Mr. President as a minister, you are what? A honorable what? Minister. Is that correct? When you attend to some positions, some positions, you shall be seen as what? Honorable. So this Naaman was a captain. 
not just the captain the bible says he was a great man not just a great man the bible says he was equally what honorable what next because by him the lord had given deliverance unto syria the bible says that god gave syria deliverance through who neymar hmm. he must be a honorable member he was also a mighty man in valor. And the same man was also a mighty man of what? Valor. Of valor. Hey, but this he, man is so wonderful. A man that is uh, uh, di uh, discussed as a honorable member, a great man, a captain, a man of valor. My brother, what next or what kind of title again do you need? This man has obtained almost all the titles. But he was a leper. Hi. Did you hear this story? Somebody on the line, but in your but but on the line with but. Hi. Hmm. He has taken my sorrows away. He has taken my sorrows. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Jesus is mine. Oh yes, oh yes. Hallelujah, Jesus is mine. The Bible says that this man called Naaman is a captain. Was a captain. Was an honorable member. He's a good man, a man of valor, a man recognized, a man equally used by God to deliver the land of Syria. But despite his greatness, despite his money, despite his honorable name, the Bible says, but he was a leper. Hi. Can you imagine how this man is blessed? But there is something he is carrying as a mark that is identified with both. Let me tell you, when a man is being identified as a great man, and finally you are connected to a mark that says both, something is wrong. Somebody says something is wrong. Let me prophesy to you. Your greatness will not be attached with both. I didn't hear you here. I said I didn't hear somebody here. Amen. Your greatness will never be attached with what? But a lot of families today, if you narrate what is going on in that family, you will understand that who they are is being attached with but. You go to that foundation, you will discover that in their family there are beautiful young women, but none of them is getting married. Then when you go outside and hear the story, what would they tell you? They will tell you in that family they are very beautiful. They are so hardworking, they are so respectful, but they cannot get married. Kai. There are some marriages today that the story of but has been connected to the marriage. They will tell you the woman is so hardworking, the woman is so beautiful, the woman, in fact, God has blessed her with money, and upon the money, she is so humble, everybody wants to associate with her, but she cannot conceive. Let me prophesy to a listener. When the blessings of God is coming to you, the enemy shall never give you that mark of God. Every mark of God in your life is shall be terminated in the name of Jesus. I didn't hear you say by terminated in the name of Jesus. Let your enemies all like a thunder. Hey, but. You will see a man, a man that is gifted, a man that is blessed. God has given him money. God has given him cars. God has given him the gift of the word of knowledge and wisdom. Whenever he comes in and talks, men respect her. And he comes out, he keeps paying school fees for other children. When he comes in, he keeps sponsoring people in school free education. At the end of the day, somebody will narrate that story. When the person is ending, he says, but he cannot bear his own child. Kai. 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 I know Romney, 
Anu para mina sanjo Anu para mine bomba Mwebya Abure siyoku Anu rumina sanjo Anu rumine wepo makedere Anu rumina gosindege Mwebya Abure siyoku can you imagine sometimes holy down cable sometimes when i remember when bible analyze who neman was neman is a great man a captain of the host of the king of syria this man is a great man is a man of valor the bible says he's an honorable man but 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 he was he was a leper there's some people the enemy has given a mark that when you remember what you're carrying inside of you as a mark it keeps disturbing every areas of your destination i'm talking about your destiny that some of you you came up you are hiv positive how do hiv come you didn't know because you were saying i don't sleep outside i don't do how i have had people with such kind of stories there is a man in new york city i was opportune to pray with that man suddenly he woke up very strong and was telling me he wanted to run for an election in the country and at the end of the day suddenly he was diagnosed with a cancer when god has provided everything for you satan start looking for a way to connect something that we put but in your name this morning i didn't come to preach to you i come to prophesy to someone that any mark of but you're carrying and you do not know God is counseling it with the blood of Jesus. Amen. I didn't hear you. Somebody say, Amen. Somebody shout. Amen. Somebody shout. Amen. Somebody shout. Amen. Kai. 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 God punished the devil. There are some people that God has blessed. Money, you have it. Cars is there. Children is there. He said you are having peace because you believe the relationship with you and God is very strong. Sometimes you see Satan now decide to fight your marriage. I have seen a great man of God that God is so happy of what they are doing, but look at their marriage today, it's not working. God satan just put pot in it then when they stand up to preach on marriage somebody somewhere in the church will be saying but but his own marriage is not working but his own marriage is not working Kai, god punish the devil there are men that what is going on in their business today is just but they will tell you that this man is a good businessman all the boys he has trained, all of them are prosperous. But this man, nothing is happening in his business. Go to his office, everywhere is empty. But he has been the foundation of other ones that are running. But what, what, what is the problem? There is but somewhere. Kai. But I want to say something and I'll show you because we are to pray now. Hear me. Hear me. When you look at the analysis of what happened to the life of Naaman, you will understand that people started soliciting where and how he could receive his deliverance. A letter was written to the king of Israel. Let, 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 let me just release this prophecy before I talk to you. Hmm. He cannot lie to me. He cannot lie. Lion of the tribe of Judah, he cannot lie, he cannot lie to me. Any part in your life, I prophesy that God will raise a man on your behalf to wipe away your box. Amen. You didn't hear me well. A maid was raised a king was raised only for this man to be connected to a prophet Kai. 
Any mark of what in your family, whether your family is here or not, I am taking a stand now this morning as a man that is gifted with faith to join my faith with your faith and prophesy every mark of God in your family every mark of God in your finance every mark of God in your marriage every mark of God in your family every mark of God in everything you do every mark of God in your businesses I am standing as an oracle of the Most High this morning and I prophesy I prophesy in the name of Jesus Christ let that mark be removed by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ Amen He touched me. He touched me. I know they touch me, feel my soul. Something, yes. Uh -huh. she never waited she needed to take the violent weight and break the crowd he she broke the crowd and ran down to jesus where she connected through a helmet that was connected to the body of christ Kai. an issue that lasted for years was just broken i know for the bible to reckon how many years that issue of blood lasted there has been a lot of people that have been laughing at her Whenever they want to talk, they might say she's beautiful and good and this and that. But, but, but she have an issue of blood. Kai, that issue that has made people say but in your life. If I be a genuine servant of God, whether you're hearing me or you're watching me live, I prophesy that issue shall be torn in your favor. Hey. I'm hearing something. Anybody in your life that is man made, man made, man made, man made. Anybody in your life that is man made by any altar, man made. Kai, I prophesy. Any altar that is behind that making, Kai, if there is God in heaven, if there is God that died and resurrected and even death could not hold you back, I prophesy. In the name of Jesus, Amen. let our man make backfire. Amen. I sell it 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 backfire. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Kai. There 
has been this story in your family that they always talk about divorce his father divorced the mother the son has divorced this the sister divorced this this person deserves this but they are good people but there are numerous of divorce divorce in that family if god be called and if i be a prophet this morning i turn around every spirit of divorce that has become but and a mark in your family i turn it to become a favor in your life amen the spirit of divorce has just ended in your family amen kai kai I hear, I hear, I have had stories of families that have been blessed by God. When the man dies, the children will sell the houses and become children, nothing, poor. At the end of the day, they will rise up again when they burn their own children. Those, their children will scatter their properties. They will tell you in that lineage, they have always been rich, but they end up being poor. That is but, let me prophesy. That spirit that controls that lineage, I disconnect you and your family from that in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. I didn't hear you. I said disconnect you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I disconnect you in the name of Jesus. Amen. There are families, Kalesha. There are families that God has blessed with everything they need. They need comfort. God gave them comfort. They need children. God gave them children. But suddenly, as they're growing. Their children began to die. One will survive. The thing happened in the life, uh, in the lineage of the mother and father, grandmother and grandfather, and get it to your own. You have started watching your children have started dying. Let me tell you, they will tell people that in that family, they are always blessed. God always comfort them. God give them everything. But at the end of the day, their children always die. If you are among that family, I prophesy, whatever that take away those children shall be far away from your family from today. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Kai. Hi. I am so confident that God will do something for you. This morning. He answered prayer. He answered prayer. Papa, you answer prayer. Hey, you answer prayer. Kai. Oh. I feel something here. Kai. 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 Hmm. I say he answer prayer. Oh. He answer prayer. Hi, Sean Gordon. You answer prayer. You answer prayer. Jehovah, you answer prayer. You answer prayer. Jesus, you answer prayer. 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 You Paul and Silas call you, you answer them. We are calling you, answer son Jesus. I show God you answer prayer, me. You answer prayer. Whatsoever that has been bestowed on you, Kai, 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 that is not of God, that has made men to always say, but, 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 Jesus, but, but, ah, I prophesy to a believer here that if God, who used prophet Elisha to deliver, Naaman, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says that when Naaman went to see the prophet, 
The Bible said that the prophet didn't come out. He sent his boy to go and minister to him what to do. Now, Naaman was angry because Naaman came with his chariot, his escorts. He came with his men, coming like a man of honor. The prophet sat inside and said, Hey, go and tell him, go to the gate and tell him. I said, He should go to River Jordan and take his bath. And when they told him, he was so angry. He said, I was expecting to see the major prophet himself. Why would the prophet come out and lay hands on me in the name of his God? Why will he send his boy? Why will he send somebody to go and tell me? Why is it that he saw all that clean waters? It has to be this dirty water that he will ask me to go and clean myself. The Bible says, one of the boys of Naaman said to him, sir, since it's a word from a prophet of God, why don't you hack into the voice and see what God can do? The Bible said, Naaman listening to that boy, that is his follower, and went and obeyed and took his path. The Bible said he was not just healed, he was healed and his body become like a flesh of a baby. Kai. Kai. If God could turn the butt in the life of Naaman to a glorious testimony, if you are hearing me now and you can say amen seven times in this prophecy I'm to release, God will deliver you, remove every mark of pot in your life, in your family, in everything, and turn your body like a body of a baby. I prophesy to you, if you can say amen seven times, God will say to you, therefore I prophesy, every mark of God in your life, in your family, finance, business, marriage, every areas of your life, I command you in the name of Jesus, put your right hand on your head, in your forehead. I command in the name of Jesus, by the covenant of the blood, and by the power in the name of Jesus, receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 I prophesy again. Uh -huh. If you can say this amen four times. Yes, sir. Any man made mark, because there are man made mark. Mm -hmm. In your family, they will tell you that every family in that family died by accident. At the end of the day, you go and look and discover that there is an uncle that has been doing that for years. When the uncle died, his first son took over and continued from there. And you think it's something that has to do with foundation without knowing it's man made. I want to prophesy. Any man made mark in your life and your family and in your business, wherever you are coming from, Jesus. in the name of Jesus this morning, I command you back to send that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Amen.